Okay, welcome back. And we are now on lesson number three, chapter three. So in this lesson, we will be talking about the major triads. We can start with our G. So G, the triad is, this is our root, this is one, so G. Our third is B, and our fifth is D. Or you can just visualize the shape, which is from here, third fret, um, fourth string, and then you got a second fret, third string, and then fifth fret, third string. All right, so it goes that way. That is your um, triad. Um, there's lots of usage for this one, reggae music especially. And um, some sort of um, rock and roll music. Um, anyway, just familiar yourselves with the notes and the shape. So this is your G triad. G major triad to be specific. So it's one or root and third and then fifth. Because uh, with our major scale, G, A, B, C, D. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And to get the triad, you you skip a note. So one, skip two, you move to three, skip note, and then fifth. So one, three, five. So if we go down to C, the triad will be almost the same shape. One, three, fifth. And if you want to know the notes, it's C, E, and then G. And it's easy when you remember your octaves. This is E because E is up here. And then two, uh, skip a string. And then two frets to the right is E. Or just this, this kind of shape, you'll get your octave, isn't it? So C. I know that this is E because of that octave uh, position, G because this is the octave position, so C, E, G. And then if we want the D, so 1, 3, 5. So D, and what is this one? If we get the octave here, F sharp, F sharp. A, A, so we get the octave, so D, F sharp, A. And now A, so 1, 3, 5, so A, C sharp, E. So that's our notes for the A triad. And then the E, or you can use the open E here, but it will be a different shape. G sharp, so E, G sharp, because this one, E, G sharp, octave. Okay, so open E, G sharp, B. So in this shape, we can use this as well when we're doing triads. If we want G instead of B here, we can use the B here. It's a bit of a stretch, but you can sort of do this one as well as another shape or option for you to do your triad. Okay, it's very helpful if you know your notes, you know your shapes, and as I said, the triads, the one, three, and five, or root, third, and fifth. 
Thanks for watching and see you again in the next lesson.